Transforming your Figma designs into a Shopify store is easier than you might think, thanks to the all new Figma to Shopify plugin. My name is Sam, I'm one of the founders of Incent, and in this video, I'll show you how to go from a Figma design to a Shopify store in a matter of minutes with our new plugin. Before we can copy a frame, paste it into Incent and publish to Shopify, we need to prep our Figma file. The plugin works best if you've designed with auto layout. And if you're not familiar with auto layout, Figma has a huge library of content where you can learn all about it. And I will link to it in the description of this video. The section we see right here has been designed with auto layout and thus we're ready to use the plugin. To use the plugin, go to the resource tab, head over to plugins and search for Figma to Shopify. And then you should see our plugin. Once enabled, you can click on copy frame, which will copy the Figma frame you've selected. And if you don't have an account with instant yet, you can click on create account to create your account for free. Next, we need to copy a design. And good to know is that we've also released a free UI kit. It's called the landing page starter kit version one, which consists of many e-commerce sections, all designed with auto layout. And for now we continue with this design right here. So. We've selected it and now we can click on copy frame. And as you can see, all the frames have been copied, which means we're ready to paste it with an instant. So here we are within the instant builder and let's paste our Figma design. There we go from Figma to instant in a few seconds. We have a nice pop up here in the left corner to show you the progress of this copy and paste action. As you can see, everything went according to plan. If you don't design with auto layout and you copy and paste a design within instant, you will get a warning message right here that you haven't designed with auto layout and thus the plugin might not work as you've expected. With this design, this is not the case. So let's close this panel. Now let's see what we have actually done. If we go to the layer panel, we can see that all the layers have been copied one-on-one -on -one to what we had in Figma. Also, if we go to the asset panel, we can see that all the assets we've used within Figma are now also in instant. And of course, also all the typography and the colors have been copied and pasted correctly. Now let's first make our page interactive. Then we make it responsive. And last but not least, we connect our Shopify store to work with actual data from our Shopify environment. And then we publish to Shopify. To make this page interactive, we need to do a few things. Because what I had in mind is that this will become a thicker. And with this button, I want a nice hover effect that whenever someone hovers over this button, the button becomes white and the text becomes black. If we click on preview, we can see that this is not yet the case. So let's do this right now with an instant. We start with the ticker. We go to the insert panel and then under advanced and interactive, we can find the ticker element. Let's drag and drop this right here. We can go to the layer panel and then we can drag and drop this into the real ticker. Then we delete shop now and the icon and we delete the original ticker that we have uh, copy and pasted from Figma. Let's delete that one. And now all we have to do is delete the fill color. Then we click on preview. And there we go. We have a nice working ticker. Next, let's add the hover effect. To add the hover effect, let's select the button, go to interactions and add a trigger to be precise, the mouse hover trigger. Then we change the fill to white if we click on preview that's exactly what happened and we also need to change the color of the text so if we select the text we add another mouse hover and then we change the color of the text to black there we go if we preview this right now we have the ticker and we have a nice hover effect now that we've added the interactions we need to make this page responsive to do this, we first of all need to delete the fixed height and width and change it from fixed to fill. There we go. Change it to one. And then we can also add some more inside spacing to this left panel right here. So to do this, let's add 24 pixels of top and bottom spacing. And this looks about right. I would say this looks good on desktop. Let's go to the laptop viewport. This also still looks really good. 
Then we go to the tablet viewport and this is where it starts to look a little bit weird. So what I want to do right here is change the direction from horizontal to vertical. So the left panel and the right panel with the image are not placed next to each other, but below one another. So let's click on vertical and there we go. Another thing I want to do is to reverse this layout. So I want the image to be on top and this content on the bottom. To do this, we can click on reversed and there we go. Now what's left to do is yeah, change some styling options. So I believe the gap here is huge and indeed it's set to 166. So let's change this to 32. This already looks better. And also the inside spacing is quite big. So change. let's change it to 24. This looks really good. And now let's preview on mobile. And this also looks really nice. As you can see, the mobile design looks nice. Tablet looks nice. Laptop looks nice. And also the desktop viewport. Now that we've added interactions and also made this section responsive, it's time to work with Shopify content. If you haven't connected your Shopify store to your instant environment yet, Whenever you click on publish, you will get a notification that there's no connection and then it will redirect you to the Shopify app store. Important to note is that installing instant is completely free and you can also publish one page and one section for free. In this case, I've already connected my Shopify store. So whenever I click on publish, this section will already publish to Shopify, but I still want to add some Shopify content. So let's head over to the content panel right here, enable this, and we're not going to work with placeholder content, which is free to use for everyone. Also, if you've not connected your Shopify store, but I want to work with actual Shopify content. So let's click on Shopify and let's select the product we want to work with. I want to work with this gift card. And also what you might have noticed is that the outline was first blue, but now that we're working with Shopify content, the outline is green, indicating that we're working with Shopify content. The gift card is selected. So now we can do a bunch of different things. Let's first change this title to the gift card title. And we can do this by heading down to content and changing the content source from static to dynamic. And then we can select the source description, price, title, vendor. So if we click on title, it should also say gift card since that's the title of the product we've just selected. So let's click on title. And as you can see, it will change to gift card. Something else we can do is add a action to this button. So let's go over to interactions and then add a action, go to the card icon right here. And then we have a few different options to choose from. We can say that whenever someone clicks on this button, they will add this product to the cart, the gift card in this case, or view the product. And we can redirect them to the cart or immediately to the checkout. There's a lot more we can do when it comes to working with actual Shopify content. But for now, we're good. The last thing we need to do before we publish is change the name of this section to something which makes it very easy to find within a Shopify team editor. So let's call it Figma to Shopify and then we publish. As you can see, this section has now been published to Shopify. So let's head over. Here we are in our Shopify environment and let's add the section we have just built. So here we search for Figma to Shopify and there we have the section. As you can see, the ticker is working. The hover effect is working and every single piece of content that we've worked with with an instant is now also editable from within the Shopify team editor. We can change the text and we can change the image and we can even change the product we work with and all the dynamic content we've selected with an instant will then also change. So right now we're working with the gift card product as selected with an instant. But if we change this right here in Shopify, all the dynamic content will also change. So if we change this to the electric kettle and then select, as you can see, the ticker has now also changed to the electric kettle product. Now let's change the image right here. Explore free images, women's fashion and select this one. There we 
go. One last thing to mention is that all the sections you built with an instant and published to Shopify work with all Shopify market features and Shopify meta fields. And as mentioned before in this video, you can publish sections, but also complete pages. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have a good understanding of this plugin and good luck.